Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to a new episode of our program. Today we're meeting Mr. Bangaj Gablani. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. Mr. Bangaj is the founder and CEO of Golden Crown Real Estate. And he's from India and he has been here for eight years now. Yes. Correct. So would you please tell us more about yourself? So uh, I have been to this journey. Uh, I'm born and brought up in India. Uh, worked in Bangalore, one of the largest ed tech company, uh, evolved around the sales and sales industry. Over the period of time, I could understand how the company works, so started my own uh, and how that's how the journey went off. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me about experience in real estate, experience in real estate was quite a versatile in Dubai. You know, Dubai is not a kind of a real estate which is always going up, right? Mm -hmm. We are seeing a time of pandemic. We have seen a time of 2008-2015 where the market goes ups and downs, right? Uh, for this, playing into this industry or being into this industry requires a different art. Okay. You know, a lot of competitions, a lot of uh, market competitors across the industry. Yeah. Nowadays, every time I heard, listen to this, that 500 new company got opened, 700 new company got opened in Dubai, but sustaining into that and scaling up in this industry it requires a different art. You said you've been here for eight years now. Yeah. So how was the beginning here in Dubai? Dubai was uh, quietly different when we, in eight years back, Sheikh Zayed Road was different. Today it's completely different. Mohammed bin Zayed Road was considered as a part of desert. Today, you don't even have a properties available there. Plus, uh, eight years back, Dubai land was just a desert, was just a dream, just a name, right? Nothing out of business behind Bar Dubai was considered in a Dubai. In eight years of that journey, everything has come under Dubai. So that's Dubai. Yeah, and how did you get the idea of real estate? Why did you decide that I want to do real estate? something which makes money makes me passionate about doing it dubai is all about tourism and real estate i see this industry uh, i see dubai as not a, a brown sand but as a gold sand more the land is vacant more the opportunities for uh, developers to come and real estate agencies like us to sell them Tell me more about your experience in real estate. Experience in real estate, uh, yes, yeah, see, it's it's uh, it's versatile, you know. Um, for being into real estate, to make money in real estate, you need a right agent first, you know. Uh, so, lot of we may met a lot of clients that they say we made loss, we made not much profit uh, in real estate. But you versus you meet couple of people who also made profit in 2020 during pandemic, they made a huge profit. So it's all about an agent related to you, you know, someone who is working for you uh, is more important. Whom you are working with is more important. You know, an agent is the right consultant. He's a doctor for your finances. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about real estate, real estate is one of the largest or the most expensive product in the planet. So if you don't have a right consultant or a right doctor to guide your investment, definitely you will fall in loss. Yeah. As a business founder, you know, there are some main elements when you want to start your own business. First of all is the staff. So how do you choose your staff? Looking at the staff, I don't look, you know, I'm a different kind of a person while looking into hiring people. Uh, I don't look up to a person's skill. I look up to his will. You know, how much hungry that person is, where he sees himself after five years. I don't want an agent who is going to come and sit in my office. Uh, make some money, make some money for company, make some money for him and go away. I want someone who can create an impact on the industry. I want someone who is here to change the industry the way it looks like. The second element is the confidence of your clients and customers. So how do you gain their confidence and trust? See, confident and trust only comes with two things, uh, profit 
and profit mm-hmm. if the client is making profit with you he will get more confidence in you certainly he will refer to more people certainly your industry and your uh, brand name or the portfolio will go up Would you please now tell us about your business uh, in details and about the services and the properties that you work with? We work with across Dubai. You can put a finger on Dubai map and tell me that I want a property here. We can give you a property there. Mm-hmm. Our more expertise is in MR, the MAC, uh, and morely we sell the new. So we also cater the lower segment where the people can't afford. much installments in the bigger amount of payment coming up on their account so we also focus on the new yeah reason being on that and what kind of properties do you work with villas stan houses uh, apartments uh, commercials you can name it only we don't cater the segment is the leasehold properties and uh, warehouses yeah so we cater across the commercials in freehold and residential in freehold across dubai is a competitive market so how do you maintain to be more special aside from other companies that do the same field as yours dubai is uh, you know every business has its own uh, different way of taking it up uh, certainly real estate has a different challenges different advantages plus a different uh, key makers as well So when I look up to uh, something like uh, real estate as a different competitor with other businesses, yes, it uh, sounds easy to make money, but it's very difficult when it comes to leads. It's very difficult to find a agent. You know, uh, a funny stats, but I like to share with you. Uh, you know, if there are five hundred buyers in the market, there are two thousand five hundred brokers. so brokers are more than buyers in this industry mm-hmm. so in that uh, industry if you have to survive and have to make your uh, brand name yes it's a it's a challenge yeah and uh, what's your future vision to this business we are planning towards taking this industry to on a different segment and a different way of taking it up so just to give you a glimpse you know uh, when when you go to a, invest into a stock market you know you look up to a branded name a stock broker to help you invest and make money out of it yeah. correct in the same way we want to be in real estate so we want to be a broker where people look to make profit and people come and make profits with us yeah. more importantly the second and the most important thing which i look up to on this industry is the future metaverse you know people could do their site visits and people could uh, look up to their profit uh, properties using vr in the united arab emirates we find a high level of safety and security as you mentioned so would you like to address the- the emirates the leaders rulers and sheikhs of the united arab emirates a thank you message yeah i with the, the great leadership of sheikh mohammed uh, you know uh, both you know from, from from abu dhabi and dubai i am proud to be on them uh, i am proud to be a part of a dubai and i am proud to be in their leadership because the way dubai has been developed or way, the way ua is shaping up no other country in the world is able to do it and can do it example is different countries i will not na- take their name they have spent 200 billions but they are not even close to uae yeah with less investment dubai has made changes across globe and in terms of safety and security the way police and the security system is taking care of every individual in dubai is different yeah. it's insane and would you like to greet them upon the the coming of the national emirates day uh, 51st yeah 51st national day is you know 
it itself is a symbol where in where the country has come up in this 51 years the leadership was so uh, aggressive yet uh, very uh, favoring to a human to the labor laws and the employment laws to a company laws uh, to the safety and security laws with the changing uh, generation how they took care was amazing insanely amazing and i wish everyone a happy national day uh this is one of the very special day for person who is living in uae and person who love to stay in uae uh and it's also a long weekend so i will also uh wish everyone a happy long weekend uh that speciality of uae you know they are very special in giving uh long weekends in something special like uae national day like to address an appreciation message to the people who are there for you motivated and supported you yeah there are there have been many people across my journey who supported me uh, my biggest mentor uh, i don't think so i should take his name uh, but across the life you need a mentor who can guide you and take you from a different journey see whenever you try to grow or you try to evolve in your life you go through a big pain journey you know uh, it's always known as evolution is painful but what that pain is going to give you the result that mentor guides you and tells you was you have to keep patient you have to wait for some time the things will change and mentorship is very important having a great leadership is very important in your life maybe you are directly or indirectly connected to him you are directly or indirectly working with him it's a separate journey but for for me uh i don't have a specific person or a teacher in my life i learn things from everyone whomsoever i met i try to get, uh, gain something out of them yeah last but not the least would you please tell us your location and how can people communicate with you and with your company for any inquiries for anything people can reach out to our website it's uh, www.thegoldencrown.ae uh we have a facebook page instagram page plus the most important thing is uh references people reach up to us through social medias ad campaigns and the references 30% of the business what we do have works on references reason being uh people get very happy once they start dealing with us you know the moment they start working with us they understand what's the greed and what's the um uh, performance you know and then they they also make money they become happy they refer mr bangash thank you so much for being with us today from our team and program we wish you the best of luck thank you so very much pleasure meeting you ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for being with us today from crown a golden crown real estate with mr bangash givlani hopefully we'll see you on the next episode with a new successful story mm-hmm.